Welcome on in everyone. My name is Coach Christian and this is Coach Heather and we are bringing you another Coach Care Connect daily virtual workout. Today we got some really fun stuff. We're going to go through a nice little circuit of six exercises. Um, it's going to be a 40-20. All you need is a couple dumbbells and we will get through this one today. We're going to start with our warm-up and then we'll get right into our circuit, show you what the, all those moves are and we will take off with it. So let's start with our warm-up though. We're going to start with some rest, flex and extend. So what we're going to do is start out on the hands and knees. We're going to bring the chest through and arch the back a little bit. Feel a stretch up here, kind of drive those shoulders down and away as well. And then stick the hips back and get into our rest position here. Sink those hips in as far as you can and uh, stretch out the shoulders there as well. There's one rep. Let's knock out five of those. Take a little bit of time here and get that body moving the right way to start our workout. Amazing. So we are going to go through a 40-20 today. So what that means is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and that's going to be three rounds. And again, we have six different exercises that we will go through in those three rounds. Again, just need a couple of weights, whether you have some dumbbells, kettlebells, we will make it work no matter what. Kind of those medium weights are uh, our key. But if you've got some options, that's always good as well. Good. When you are done with your rest, flex, and extend, we can uh, turn over to the back. Again, take your time, no rush. But when you are done, we will roll it over. And all right, next one is going to be our single leg resisted bridge. So heels are in tight to the glutes. What we're going to do, lift one knee up, 90 degree bend, push the knees into the hand, hands into the knees, and then we lift our hips up. So create tension in that uh, point with the hands and knees, and then drive up, squeeze that glute up at the top. Five reps on one side, we'll go five on the other side as well. So switch it up after five, going after it again. Again, drive up, push that knee into the hands, hands into the knees. Amazing. And when you're done with your 10 total reps there, let's bring it up to the feet. Next warm up exercise is going to be our A frame with rotation. So we're going to hinge over it at the hip here. We're going to use the inside of the knee to kind of uh, base ourselves and then watch the hand, follow the hand with the eyes as you come up to the top and right back down. Five reps on one side, five reps on the other side. Amazing. Getting the core working. That rotation, making sure everything's moving the right ways. Again, five on each side. Good, good. And then your last warm-up exercise of the day is going to be some side-to-side -side hops. So feet are going to be together. Picture you got a little line right next to you. And we got to hop over at 20 total times, 10 on each side. So we can go after that and get the body ready to work today. Again, we're uh, spiking up the central nervous system a little bit, getting the heart rate cranked up just a little before we take off. So. When you're done with that one, we're going to get into our demos now. So grab some water, make sure you're paying attention a little bit. First one, we got a squat jump. Now, squat jump, we're going to give you a couple different options on this one as well. But starting with the squat jump, all the way down into it, land nice and soft. We're leaving the ground a little bit. So anytime we do that, you want to absorb force as you land with the knees, uh, the hips, and the ankles. So all of them create force to stop us, and then we drive back up. Now, option number two is our squat to calf raise. It's the same movement. We're just taking it up to the calf raise up at the top uh, before you come back down. Now, what I would say is it's a 40 second round. So you want to probably combine these two in some way. 40 seconds of squat jumps is pretty intense. 40 seconds of squat to calf raise is going to also be intense. But if you're somewhere in the middle of those two, maybe go like one squat jump, two squat to calf raises. Something like that would be a great combination for today to get you through the 40 seconds. Good. Our second exercise is going to be some floor presses. So we're going to need a couple dumbbells on this one, a pair of them. We're going to be on our back and then we're going to have that 45 degree angle in our arms. So we're looking not quite tight to the sides, not all the way up. We're kind of finding that middle ground, and then we're hitting some chest presses. Now, it is 40 seconds, so it's a little bit longer. Get some good reps, find a consistent pace um, for those 40 seconds. Amazing. After that, we're going to be up on our feet for a two-point row, so you can take one of those dumbbells, and we're going to split our stands a little bit. So our two points of contact are going to be our two feet on the ground. That means our front hand is not going to be supporting that front leg. So we're going to get into that bent over position. We're going to row up, and we're going to not move our shoulders is key on this one. So as Heather rows, you notice her shoulders are not moving. She's using her core to brace everything so she can really pull into the side um, of her rib cage there. But the top of the hip side of the rib cage is where you want that hand to come in on your two-point rows. Now, we will split that one up, so every round we'll switch at the halfway point, so we'll be ready to make a quick switch and get right back to work. Good. Fourth exercise is going to be a plank around the world. For this one, high plank position, we're going to reach up with each limb, so both hands to start. Good. And then each leg, trying not to move your hips at all. Then we just keep going right around the circle. It doesn't matter which way you go um, or anything like that. What really does matter is your hips are stable. We don't let them move around. Don't let them sway side to side as we change our uh, point of... Uh, center of gravity on that one. 
So perfect. After that, we are into a reverse lunge with rotation. One dumbbell on the chest, or if you don't need a dumbbell on this one, body weight will work great as well. One dumbbell, we're gonna step back into our lunge. We're gonna rotate towards our front foot and then right back up to the top. We will alternate with every single rep as well. So then it's the other side, rotate the other way. Good, try to be stable at the bottom there. So if you don't wanna use weight the first round, that's cool. And then if you're feeling uh, comfortable after that, you can always add weight to, um, as we get deeper into this workout. So perfect. Good, after that, our last exercise is gonna be our upright row. So this one, if you got one dumbbell, it's amazing. If you got two light dumbbells, you can use that as well. But we'll use one today just to uh, make it a little easier for you. So on this one, elbows are gonna come high and wide. You're gonna keep your uh, weight tight to your chest and it's gonna be right up to the top and then slow and controlled on the way down. So just get some good reps there for 40 seconds. Make sure we have a nice proud chest so we're not slouching over anything like that. Good posture on that movement. So good, there's our six movements for today. Again, 40-20 is gonna be our format. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and we got three times through. You'll take a nice little 45 second break in between our rounds as well, so you'll have some time to rest and recover. But I'll give you about 25 seconds here. Grab your dumbbells, get them ready to go. If you got different options for dumbbells, that would be amazing to keep them close as well. Um, and we will get started with this one in about 15 seconds. All right, team, so I'm gonna get the timer ready to roll here, and we are gonna take off squat jumps to start. So let's get ready for those. 10 seconds. There we go, 10 seconds and we will start this one. Again, three rounds of it, let's have some fun with it. Squat jumps, remember, we can use those squat to calf raises as well. Two, one, let's go. There we go, there we go. So find a pace that works for you on this one, whether it's three squat jumps, three squat to calf raises, whether it's one to one, whether it's two to one, all, anything that works for you is what I want you to knock out today. Good. The biggest thing is continual movement. Maybe you want to just knock out some squat jumps until you're tired and then use your squat to calf raise to kind of regroup before you hit some more. Again, there's so many ways to work it throughout this round. I want you to get creative and I want you to work hard. 10 seconds. There we go. You're almost there. You got the floor press coming up next too, so you get some time on your back. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Amazing. 20 seconds here. Let's get set up for your floor press next. On our back again, remember we're gonna find that 45 degree angle with the arms, so not in tight, not too wide, that middle ground right there. 10 seconds. Get some quality reps this time, no rush with the 40 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Perfect, perfect. Control on the way down. I want you to think like as you're coming down, you're pulling away, pulling like you have a bar and you're trying to pull it apart as you come uh, down into that one. The elbows hit the ground, we drive right back up. Good, you guys are halfway there, 20 seconds. Good, good. Keep holding on here, keep getting some of those good pushes. Keep pushing with power, 10 seconds. You're almost there, finish this one strong in five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, amazing. Done with that, we got our two point row coming up. Remember our two points of contact are our two feet. We're not gonna support that front leg and we're gonna use our core as we row here. We will switch at the halfway point, so get ready to make that quick switch. Here we go, six seconds. Let's do it right into the bottom of the, bottom of the hip, bottom of the rib cage. Here we go, two, one, let's go. Pull that thing in. Now notice how Heather's elbow doesn't stop at her side. She goes way past that. That's that full range of motion that we're looking for. Good, good. As you're doing this one, we're retracting the scap. We're getting the elbow back there. Here we go. Two more reps on this side. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Other side. Quick switch. Right back into it. There we go. Now, neutral grip on this one as well, which means your palm is just facing in towards the center of your body. Good, good. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Done with it, team. Uh, Two-point row is done. We got our plank around the world next, so you don't need to wait for this one. Throwing her off to the side. Remember, each limb, we're gonna keep going around the world in that plank, trying to keep the hips as stable as possible. If you get tired, you can just knock out a couple push-ups as a break. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. It's always what I say, anytime we're doing any core work, I always give push-ups as an option to, uh, to rest, in quotations, rest, right? 30 seconds here, you got this. Good, find a little pace on this one. Every time we have a longer round, pace is gonna be key for a lot of these. But if you go 
you know, way faster where you're knocking out 10 of these reps in 10 seconds, it's going to be a lot different feel than if you knock out 10 in the 40 seconds. So find what works for you. We got about 10 seconds to go. Holding, working. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, two more exercises to finish up our first round here. We got a reverse lunge with rotation. So again, hold that weight tight to the chest, or if you want, no weight for the first round is almost what I would recommend. And then if you're feeling comfortable in round two, then we add the weight um, for round two and three. But let's start out without the weight. Let's get that movement down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Big step back, rotate towards the front leg, towards the front leg. There we go. A little rotation right back up. Big step to the front. Use that front leg to power yourself back up to the, the top here. Good. There we go. Biggest thing is you're rotating the shoulder so you can feel that, right? You got a mirror or something in your house and you can see yourself. Make sure as you're doing it, the shoulders rotate all the way around. Not all the way, but they rotate. I don't know what rotating the shoulders all the way around would be. That'd be like twisting your body in weird ways. Five seconds, here we go. Four, three, two, one, and done. All right, last exercise of our first round here is gonna be that upright row. So if you got one, two dumbbells, whatever you got, make it work here. And elbows are gonna stay nice and high. Shoulders are gonna stay down away from the ears. Control on the way down. Here we go, five seconds. In three, two, one, and let's go. 40 seconds of it. You keep those elbows above the dumbbell or above whatever weight you're doing the entire time. There we go. Right up below the chin, keeping that dumbbell close to your body as well. Now with one dumbbell, it can be kind of interesting to hold it sometimes. If you got both hands on it, you can kind of do like Heather's doing with the uh, like inside grip. You can hold the sides. If you want to hold just like the top, that works as well. But 10 seconds. Good, good. In five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, 45 seconds in between your rounds here, team. Grab a drink of water, adjust weights if you need to, and then we will be back in about 40 seconds to crush round number two. All right, so. Hopefully after that first round, we can kind of gauge our pace for the second round. So in the squat, the jumps, squat jumps, squat two jumps, squat jumps, um, you got to feel what that feels like for the 40 seconds, right? So if you need to do a little bit more of the squat to calf raise, a little less squat jump this round, do it. If you need to go the other way and do a little bit more squat jump, a little bit less calf raise, do it. Find what works for you and let's do it in five seconds. 40 seconds of work. Three, two, one, here we go. Good, good. that we can control today is our effort. Effort is key in anything that you give because effort is taking it down to the small details. If you give good effort, you also have to worry about the small details because that is effort. Good, you are halfway through 20 seconds. Good, remember you can change up your cadence as well. Don't be stuck to one. If that's not working for you, get through this round. You got it, 10 seconds. Good, good, in five. Four, three, two, one, and done. Way to start that round off right. Floor press is coming up. Give us a chance to breathe a little bit while we're on our back. Bring that heart rate back down a little bit. The 40 seconds of our floor presses. Now again, just like last round, you can talk about pace again. Last round, if you were going really fast with your reps and you burned out really quick, maybe we go a little slower. Here we go. Two, one, let's go. Or maybe you didn't quite get enough out of it last round. You need to go a little bit faster. Either way, that is perfectly fine. Round number one was about feeling it out and meeting you where you're at. Round number two is taking it up a little level. Amazing, amazing. Now you're halfway through this round already. We got just over 20 seconds. Feeling good, powering through those dumbbells. They should feel like you could throw them up to the ceiling if you needed to, right? I can't, I mean, it depends on what weight you're using as well. Good, seven seconds. Couple more reps, finish it off. Four, three, two, one, and done. All right, 20 seconds. Two point row is coming up next. Find that split stance. Again, we will switch at the halfway point, just, just like last round. 10 seconds. 
Good, good. Find that good split stance again. Pulling it in, get that full range of motion. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect. So keep that shoulder retracted as well. So as you're rolling, it's back the entire time. So don't let that shoulder come forward. Don't feel like you're reaching. Keep the shoulder back, and we row. Good. Two more on this side. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Other side. There it is. Good. As you pull in, keeping the core tight, not letting the shoulders turn. Heather's doing a really good job to keep that shoulder to knee, that line that you're creating nice and straight there. Three, two, one, and rest. 20 seconds. Plank around the world coming up next. A little bit of core work. Everything's all about the core, right? Core in pretty much everything we do. 10 seconds here. We are across the halfway point of our workout as we're halfway through our second of three rounds. Here we go. Around the world. Three, two, one. Let's go. Around the world, taking me to some places you've never been. I haven't even, I've been out of the country like twice. So I need to go around the world a little bit more. But good. Hard work like this makes it a little easier to travel, right? <laughs> good, good. 20 seconds down, 20 seconds to go. Keeping that body in a straight line. Even as we're tired, we got the movement coming into our plank. That doesn't change the fundamentals of our plank. We still hold our body in the straight line. We can keep our, our hands right under our shoulders and we're up on our toes. Good. In four, three, two, one, and done. 20 seconds. All right. Reverse lunge with rotation. If you were feeling good last round, you want to add the weight this round, go for it. I love it. If you don't, amazing. We're going to keep working on it, and maybe you want to add it the last round. That's okay. Um, find that what works for you, and let's knock it out. I say that all the time. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. As much as I wish there was, there's no single one plan that works for every single person in the world. It's all about making it what it works making it work for you, your body, your situation. There's so many different factors that play into everything that we do. So as a coach, we love to meet you where you're at and uh, I just work from there. 20 seconds down, 20 seconds to go. Good, good. Now exercise should be one of those things. They move us forward. They move us in the right direction. That's what we're doing today. We're getting you on track. We're getting you back into it. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one and rest. All right, finishing up round number two with our upright rows next. Grab some dumbbells for that one, one or two, either way. Again, let's go controlling on the way down a little bit more this round. So what I want you to do is come up just like you've been. Try to go a little bit slower as you come down. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, if your weight is really heavy and you can't do the slow on the way down, maybe we just, you know, meet you where you're at today. So we got to find what works for you. Keep knocking it out. A lot of times, depending on where you're working out, you might not have every single weight that you want, that you need for a workout like this. So we got to make it work. 20 seconds to go. Good. Nice, big, proud chest still. Keep that spine neutral. Keep everything in that straight line. Come on. 10 seconds. Good. Last couple of reps. Slow control on the way down. Four, three, two, one, and done. All right. Two rounds down. We got one more round to go. One more time through each of those exercises. And that's our work today, team. We're going to foam roll you guys. And we're going to kick you guys out of here to go enjoy the rest of your day. So let's get ready. You got about 33 seconds here to get your body right. To take some deep breaths. Let the heart rate come down. Get some water. And then we will get ready for that last round. 25 seconds. And we will take off. Right, 15 seconds, squat jumps coming into play. What I want is the last 10 seconds of this round, I want you to go even harder. Maybe you take out the squat to calf raises and just go squat jumps. Maybe you just move faster. Either way, find what works for you. Let's do it. Last round, three, two, one, let's go. So still 40 seconds though, so don't burn us out uh, You know, in those first 30 seconds because we're going to save a little bit for the last, uh, last 10 seconds. Good, good. Keep working here. 15 seconds, and then we turn it up. Good. Halfway through the round. 
All right, so what are you going to do for these last 10 seconds? How are you going to take it up a little bit? Let's do it in three, two, one, 10 seconds. Go, go, go. Give me what you got today, team. Earn it, earn it. Work in five, four, three, two, one, and done. Oh, take a deep breath. A couple of them, and then we're going to get down for the floor press next. Floor press next. It'll be a great time to bring us down to our back, let the heart rate recover before we go hard again. Now, under control. Even when our heart rate's higher, it doesn't change what we do here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Good, good. The blood is definitely flowing after that round. Body was moving hard. There we go. Now we get to take it out on those dumbbells a little bit, right? Good, good. 25 seconds. So you are at that halfway point in the round. What do you got left in the tank for 20 seconds, team? Last shoulder press of the day. Last upper body push. There we go. 10 seconds. Give me what you got. Maybe you want to burn it out a little bit in the last 10. I'm cool with that. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. All right. 20 seconds. Floor press is done. We got our two-point rows. Got a little pushing done. Now we get to do a little pulling. 20 seconds on each side. You guys know what to do. I, uh, these, are, these are great opportunities here to get some back work. But here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Again, two points of contact. You know what they are. Keep that front hand. Keep it off the front leg so you can really get that core stability worked in there as well. Ten more seconds on this side. Good team. Keep that back leg long. Keep that flat back. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Other side. There's only three more movements on the other side of this one team. So we are getting down into it today. This is that grind time. The home stretch of the workout where you got to take it up another notch. And we're going to leave this place. We're going to think, oh, I gave it the best of my ability today. Three, two, one. Done. Plank around the world coming up. 20 seconds. Got a little bit of time. Breathe. Grab a drink if you need to. And let's take a little trip around the world one more time. Think about all the places that you could go. Try to maybe put yourself on a beach somewhere and not in a plank position, right? Here we go. Five seconds. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. Slow, controlled movements. Not in a rush. A lot of times we live such a fast-paced everyday life that we forget to just take a second and breathe and, and work on ourselves. And it's one of the best things about exercise because it does bring us back to ourselves. This is your about 30 minutes today to invest into yourself and to make yourself better to where you want to be. Amazing, amazing. And that has effects far beyond the physical effects too. It has mental health effects. There are so many positive things that we get from working out and moving our bodies. Here we go. Four, three, Two, one, and done. All right, last two movements. Reverse lunge with rotation. If you're feeling up to the challenge and want to use that dumbbell, amazing. If you want to keep on going with the body weight, that is also amazing. We will figure it out. We will get you to the end of this round, team. Reverse lunge with rotation, upright row, and then some foam rolling, and you're out of here. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Little rotation towards that front leg, and then right back up. Good. All right, finding that pace, finding it, and knocking it out for the rest of this round. Got about 25 seconds. Good, keeping that chest up. Good, notice how Heather, when she gets to the bottom and does that rotation, that her chest is very tall. Her spine is in that neutral position. 15 seconds. Good, good. Finishing strong. Last couple of reps here, team. In five, in four, three, two, and one rest. All right, upright rows to finish us off today. That's all we got left, and then you are done after we foam roll. Got to foam roll just a little bit. We'll uh, get a little bit of the upper body, the back, maybe the glutes a little bit as well. But here we go. Upright rows, let's finish this workout today, team, in three, two, one. Here we go. Straight up, straight down, nice, proud chest, working hard. All right. 
Now in this last round, let's talk about some food and water, right? Get the right things in your body after this workout. There's some great strength work in this workout today that means you need to get some calories back in your body. And what I would recommend is some protein, maybe some carbs. Carbs are what gives us energy for a lot of our workouts. A lot of times we think carbs are bad, oh no, but carbs are giving us energy every time uh, that we eat them. As long as we don't eat them in excess, obviously if we eat a ton of carbs, that's not a good thing. Everything is good in moderation. Not everything. Most things are good in moderation. Three, two, one, and done. Hopefully I distracted you a little bit enough that last round. Uh, but thank you for finishing that one today. Amazing job. Let's film really guys out and then get you on with the rest of your day. All right, let's start out with the back. So take a uh, seat right in front of your foam roller. Give yourself a big old hug, elbow to elbow. And then we're going to work our way up the back. So two vertebrae up, one down. Two up, one down, all the way up that back. Sometimes, I know my back cracks every time I get on that thing. Uh, sometimes it feels really good, sometimes it's so good. <laughs> Most of the time, good though. So take some time here, invest it into yourself. A little myofascial release. A lot, we got a lot of pulling today, so take a couple extra seconds into that upper back up there. Kind of the shoulders, the upper part of the shoulder blade. So we worked on those upright rows. Um, and then our pulls too, our two point rows, those are a lot of the back as well. Amazing. All right, so now we're going to roll onto our side just a little bit, and we're going to do our lats. So we're going to keep uh, stick with the upper back focus here. The lats are that big muscle kind of right behind your armpit. So you got to kind of be on your side, and then you can use your arm to kind of guide you um, and guide that foam roller up and down. Don't need a ton of pressure on this one. Definitely not as much as the back. So you don't want to put all your weight into it because that will not feel good because it is a very, very close to your ribs there. And uh, that's a lot of pressure to be putting on your ribs. Good. Good. Three, two, one. Let's switch it up. Other side. Good, good. Right back into it there. And then we'll finish up with the hamstrings when we're done with this one as well. And if you have any other spots that you want to foam roll, want to spend a little extra time on, absolutely do that. We will never stop you from foam rolling. It's a good little way to. Uh, you know, just put yourself, give yourself a couple, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, it can be like your meditation, your time that you put into yourself. Um, I like to do it over my lunch break because it's a great thing that uh, gets your body moving, gets your blood flowing a little bit, wakes you up a little bit for the rest of your day. Good, good. And then there's also some different things, some different stuff that you can do before bed um, that uh, can actually help you sleep a little bit better. But let's break that one. Let's go down to the hamstrings to finish us off here. So sitting there, yep, right behind uh, the thighs here. So bottom of the knee, top or bottom of the glute, that whole area in between is where we want to foam roll this time. And we will hit both sides there as well. Good, good. Any tight spots in there, any spots that uh, you feel like you need to spend a little extra time with, absolutely do that. And then when you're done with that side, let's go over to the other side. While you guys are doing that, that this is going to be all we have for you guys today. If you want to spend a little extra time again, definitely do that right after this. Foam roll that body out. Um, but that's what we have for you guys today. Again, thank you all so much for coming on and working in with us today. Another Coach Care Connect video done. Uh, you can check it off the list. And we thank you guys for coming out and joining us today. Again, my name is Coach Christian. This is Coach Heather. And we will see you on the next Daily Virtual Workout.